Monday. It doesn't feel like a Monday. It feels like it's much later in the week than Monday, but it is just Monday. <laughs> Some of you have mentioned that I haven't done a video in quite a while, which is true. We've had a crazy couple of weeks here. I guess that's kind of the continuing theme. Things just got so busy. And one of the things that I haven't told all of you is that I have rheumatoid arthritis. And so oftentimes when I get into like a place where I'm doing a whole lot, sorry, it's really bright in our house today. So if you notice me not able to keep my eyes open, that is why. In any case, uh, I have rheumatoid arthritis. And so a lot of times when I do a substantial amount of work or we get really active, we do a lot of things with friends and family and stuff like that, it's wonderful. And we're so glad that we can do all those things but oftentimes when something like that happens I end up in a flare and that has been the case with the last couple of weeks uh, I ended up in a flare and I have been on prednisone now for like four days so I have all the energy <laughs> um, yeah basically I could like clean the entire house with the amount of energy that I end up with on the prednisone I wanted to take the time today to do kind of a vlog style of I'm two weeks out from training actually I'm a day under two weeks out from training Training. I go for training March 26th, so I leave here on a Sunday. So part of that is me working with this camera, actually. This is the new camera that my husband gave me for Valentine's Day, and I am not used to it yet. So if it's off-center and I'm looking, you know, oddly or looking one way or the other in the camera, that is why I'm just trying to get used to centering it, focusing it, and actually looking into the camera as I'm supposed to be. So I'm doing my best. <laughs> he gave me this camera for Valentine's Day. It was incredible sweet and between this and a GoPro that a friend of ours has graciously offered to lend to us these will be my primary vlogging cameras for training I leave two weeks from yesterday Sunday March 26th how am I feeling oh boy <laughs> we are just like starting to get everything situated um, schedule wise, household wise. My husband is super awesome on his own. He is not gonna have any problems, but still it's like, gosh, it'd be nice to be able to leave him with some meals so that he didn't have to cook every night. So I'm in the process of trying to make things a little bit easier for him. I am creating a visual calendar for our younger daughter, who's four. When you go for a guide dog, typically you go to a residential training and you stay there in a dorm with other students who are also training with their guide dogs. The duration of that training depends on the school that you go with. I am working with Guide Dogs for the Blind, which is out of California and Oregon. Their training is two weeks in duration. I am feeling a little bit chaotic, I guess. I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Nervous and ex <laughs> I'm nervous sighted. <laughs> you can tell I have little kids because that's a My Little Pony thing. I'm, ner I'm nervous sighted. <laughs> I'm definitely nervous sighted. <laughs> This is a time when you start to wonder what is this dog's name and what's it going to look like? Is it going to like me? <laughs> I mean, of course it's going to like us, but it's still, it's a new partnership. You're forming a new relationship and there's always excitement and there's always nervous feelings when you go into it. What else? I'm starting to pack. I'm starting to, I guess, get a hold of some last minute travel things, miniatures of toiletries and stuff like that. Trying to figure out what the weather's going to be like there, which is apparently a task. <laughs> The weather everywhere has been so weird this past year. I added them to my weather app and I'll kind of observe over the course of the next week or two and plan accordingly as we get closer with clothes and stuff. I've been there twice before and the two times that I've been there, the first time I thought it would be warmer than it was and I was freezing and I had to buy a pair of gloves because it rained the entire time. I don't know, it was warmer than it is in Minnesota but it rained literally every single day that I was there. And that's one of the things that I remember so clearly about it because the ceiling in the dormitory is, I think it's a skylight. So the noise that comes through, you know, with the rain is different than like if it were just a regular rooftop. And I remember loving that sound. Like I love the sound of the rain hitting, what is it called? <laughs> Durr. <laughs> skylight, yeah. 
I love the sound of the rain hitting the skylight. It was very calming, very peaceful, and the campus itself is kind of set back in a more rural area outside of Portland. And it's really beautiful. It's really kind of picturesque and calm and serene. The other thing that I'm doing, aside from kind of prepping, you know, schedules and things for the kids and trying to figure out whether my husband wants me to do any packing for our little one ahead of time since they're coming out for my graduation with the guide dog. I'm also starting to pack my things. I'll show you a little peek at what I have so far. I just start to set things aside as I get closer to the time. I'm not really packing. It's more like as I come across something that I know that I want to take, if it's not something that's essential for me to use between now and then, I toss it into a clothes basket. That's my pile that's <laughs> to be packed when it's when it's time here so and I'll probably start to like pack pack mm, probably the Monday before I leave honestly I like to feel like I really have the time to make sure that I have everything that I need and that I want I'm a planner I like to make sure I have everything I try to do kind of the footwork ahead of time and make sure that I have the things I need I'll take you upstairs and show you what I have set aside so far here's a bunch of our stuff or my stuff nobody else's stuff Oh, well, I guess New Dog stuff is here. So this is New Dog's big bag, which I don't know. I love this bag, but it's so big. And I've never taken that much stuff for one of my guide dogs. I might just take a smaller bag. But anyway, I have a little blanket in here for New Dog. Typically, I wouldn't bring a blanket, but I have that one because we're going to be spending a couple of extra days out in the area. And I'll have the dog's fleece from training so that the dog has his or her scent already on the fleece and something to kind of transition home to. Some of my pajama pants, my emoji pajama pants. I have a bunch of just goofy pajama pants and they're kind of my favorites. They're just loungy and funny and they make me smile. And the emojis especially make me think of my girls. They're really in this emoji phase and they kind of love them. Set aside some leggings. And right now these are just shorts and uh, capri pants, which I seriously doubt I'm going to be able to take with or need to take with. But they're kind of in my set of stuff that's being prepared anyway to, as I see what the weather turns out to be. This is my new camera bag. Yay. I've needed a camera bag for, I don't know if I can zip, unzip this thing with one hand, but I needed a camera bag for this little guy, which is the Canon Vixia R700, I think it is. And then also the GoPro that our friend is loaning to me right now. And then I have some additional components that I want to be able to store in there and bring with and keep safe. So this will have plenty of room for both cameras and a few small accessories. So I don't have anything super large. I have a couple of packets of travel tissues, Kleenex. Who doesn't need Captain America, right? Or Iron Man or Star Wars on their tissues. Um, hello, this girl needs those. I have a little, little travel journal. I don't even remember where I got this. I got this a long time ago on clearance. It's just blank pages. If I want to write some notes, I'm also making a little kind of like a day-by-day -day memory keeping thing for the puppy razors of the dog. And that gives me something to write in. Plus it looks like jeans. Isn't that cool? It kind of feels like jeans too. It does feel like jeans. But it looks like jeans. It's really cute. This little pouch, which again, I don't know if I can open one-handed. I apologize. It is just travel bowls. There are two silicone travel bowls in here. Already cleaned, washed, ready to go. Since we'll be staying in the area and doing some additional things after we leave training. Clorox wipes for the airplane. I know, paranoid. It's, it's true. You know what? Whatever. Whatever keeps me from getting sick while I'm out there, I will do it. I have a couple of medication travel. What do you call these? Pill boxes. A couple of travel pill boxes. I'm going to use those primarily, and then I do have to bring, I have a lot of medication, so I have to bring some of the medications in full, but what I don't need to do, I'll, I'll pack in these pretty much with some extras. I have a sleep mask, which I have never been a sleep mask user, but I got these last year for a kid's presentation that I did for my kiddo's class, and we did some simulation with just them using their other senses. I've since used them on really, really bad headache and eye pain days to just block out the light, because I do get migraines, and I also get extreme um, eye pain and maybe due to strain maybe due to stress we don't really know but I will use that when I need to just to block out some of the light I have a little travel toothpaste it's just Colgate total I got that at the dollar store I have some band-aids oh, I kind of wish I could open these for you guys because they're like superhero band-aids except instead of saying like bam pow wow they say ow <laughs> 
I know. I'm easily entertained. Arg! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I could just, I don't know, whatever. I'm easily entertained. I love just like random novelty-ish stuff like that because it just makes me smile. So there you have it. I have an eyeshadow palette. It's a little bit smaller than my day-to-day -day ones. It's Maybelline. It's called the Blushed Nudes, and it looks a lot like the Naked palette in terms of colors. And I chose this because I really like the size more than anything, because I needed something smaller to be able to travel with. This is just a glasses case from the dollar store, but I'm going to be using it for um, some of my cables and likely my earbuds. So I'm going to just store some of my little, my smaller cables in there. Um, and then I, I have another one somewhere for my sunglasses so that hopefully I don't break them while I'm out there which is what I do, and I just had to buy two new pair yesterday at 20 bucks a pop, and I seriously was like, are you kidding me? These are sunglasses. Anyway, I have a little travel mirror. Hi! One side is, whoa. One side's normal, this side's normal. Hi. <laughs> okay, this side's normal. And this side's giant. I think it's like one side's 1x or just normal. And the other side is like 20 times magnification. It's just a little toiletry bag. It's a small one. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to organize things. But I like to have things separated in their own little bags. So that I can identify them with a label or whatever. And then know what I'm pulling out of my larger bag. This is just a GDB water bottle. It's metal with a plastic lid. This is a travel hair straightener. I mean, it's teeny. Here's my hand. It's smaller than my hand. <laughs> it is the cutest little thing. I love pretty much anything miniature or giant, especially miniature. It's adorable. It comes with its own little carrying case. I like that it's compact and going to save a little bit of space. This is just a little atomizer. It's a perfume atomizer and it's really cool. All you do is take the top off of your actual perfume and at the very bottom of the little atomizer there's like a little seal circle thingy. You pop that onto your perfume bottle once you've taken the, the top, like the spritzer piece that you would pump off of the perfume bottle and then you pump this as you would the perfume bottle spritzer and the perfume comes up into the atomizer and then when you're away you have your own little perfume bottle. I think that's super cute. And it's like about the size of a lipstick, I guess. A little tube of lipstick. I have some postcards. These ones are rainbow postcards that were in my stocking at Christmas time. And I don't think I can open them. Oh, there they go. Oh, they're just so cute. Look at that. Hello. In all the rainbow colors. If you haven't figured this out yet, you will. If you continue to follow me. I am an absolute freak for rainbows. I love anything rainbow. These are GDB bookmarks. When I'm in training, I will be sending a couple little things out to each of my girls' schools. And so I have the bookmarks to bring along and I have some postcards with beautiful puppies. Oh, look at that puppy. I think that's a yellow lab. It's hard to tell. Oh, look at that one. These guys are in harness. There's a black lab and I think a yellow lab. Oh, and these guys are babies. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I hadn't held a puppy, like a puppy puppy, until about a year ago. And I swear, oh my gosh, I could snuggle puppies like my entire life. I have this Burt's Bee, I think it's actually called hand cream, that I've been using since my hands have been having so much trouble with this winter. And I, oh, you know what? That might be too big to take on the airplane. Hmm. I don't know. I'll either have to check it or decant it into something else. Um, and then I have some just like little facial wipes. Oh, those are Burt's Bees also. Ha ha ha. Uh, they're for sensitive skin because that's me. I'm like the queen of sensitive skin. I have a whole bunch of, good golly. How long am I going for? Like, what? Look at this. This is ridiculous. All right, so I, I just have a bunch of travel little bottles, and I won't use all of these. I have shower caps. Not to function as shower caps, but to go over my shoes that will be traveling with me so that they don't get everything else all gross. I have a Guide Dogs for the Blind luggage tag. And then last but not least, so far anyway, <laughs> this thing cracks me up. I have a laundry bag, but look, it's so cute. It has clothes lines all over it. It's a white background with clothes hanging lines and little articles of clothing like shorts and t-shirts and I don't know what that is, an upside down t-shirt, dresses and 
all different colors and stuff, so it's really cute. But what's funny to me is this thing is enormous. I mean, my gosh, if the dog needs a bath, I could probably stick the dog in the bag. Like, <laughs> it's, it's that big. It's really, really big. So I don't know where most people go that they have this much laundry, but I will never, I mean, that's crazy, right? Anybody feel me? Because that, that's a really big laundry bag. Well, anyway, GDB provides us with laundry facilities in the dormitory. So y'all don't have to worry about me being stinky. I will smell good and I will be clean. Right, Casa? Right? This is Casa's little, uh, is this your nook? Yeah. Picasa, uh, as I've said in previous videos, is my retired guide dog. She's a yellow lab and she is seven. Casa, are you seven years old? Yeah. She's a very sweet girl. She's mellow. She she just likes to live and let live. She's pretty chill. She's a good girl. She's gone through a lot of transitions with me from me working. She's gone alongside me through pregnancy and having an infant and a toddler and a preschooler. And she has been exceedingly patient and calm and tolerant. Haven't you, baby girl? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good girl. Yes, you are. So she's got her little, she's all, all ready for St. Patty's Day. She's got her little St. Patrick's Day bandana that the groomer gave her. You pretty girl. Yes, you're so pretty. <laughs> that is about all that I have that I'm getting ready. How I'm feeling about training is um, I'm ready. Like, I'm emotionally ready. I'm excited for it. And I'm ready for it to be here. But, you know, it's kind of at that point where just like if you were to travel for work or you were to go on a vacation or something like that, that's really big. I have a lot to get done between now and two weeks from now. So this is all a mess too because I made a little planner cover for my friend and it's sparkly. And then I'm making one for myself. And this is my small planner that'll go with to training. And this is a print that a good friend of mine in Texas sent to me. And it says, never doubt that you are valuable and powerful and deserving of every chance and opportunity in the world to pursue and achieve your own dreams. Hillary Clinton. It's just a reminder, dream big and take it one day at a time and do your best. And that's what you gotta do. Thanks so much for joining me today. I apologize if this is like really hard to watch as I'm getting used to this camera, but I promise it will get better over time as I get more accustomed to working with it. I'll have a couple of videos between now and my training, but I don't plan to begin daily vlogs until Sunday, March 26th. Those vlogs will likely be, at the very least, if there's like a crazy busy day, at the very least it'll be a daily check-in and talking about what we did and what we trained and worked on that day. And some will uh, certainly involve glimpses into our training and, you know, what's involved and what we do to not only in meeting the dog and being partnered with them, but then in developing that relationship and how we get used to each other and how we partner together over the course of those two weeks to get ready to go home and be a team. Thanks again for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please click that like button, that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and join me on this journey over the next few weeks and month and then our partnership as we go forward. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day, guys.